Bristol. That's Bristol. So you're opposed to the march today? Yes, because this isn't what Bristol's about. Do you know what the march is about? Yes, exactly. What's it about? You tell me. The best place to deal with that are teachers, social workers, the Muslim community themselves. Um, but the Muslim community aren't really doing anything about it. There's right. been no convictions since the FGM law came in. If you think that there's a girl, if there's going to be a girl who's vulnerable, who's going to pick up on it first? Most likely, you need the kind of um, environment in school where they can talk to their friend, a counsellor, a teacher. That'd be fantastic, yeah. That's what you need. Whereas, meanwhile, our schools are being cut back, so teachers are under stress, they haven't got the time, and hopefully they'll still do that job. But those are the people who should be dealing with it. But the economic issue like, doesn't deal with the cultural not. issue. So why is a march against cuts good, but a march against FGM and terrorism bad? Sorry? Why is a march against cuts good, well, but a march against terrorism and FGM bad? Everybody's against that. You know, you don't need the far right dividing people. Um... You don't How is it far right to oppose FGM? Um, I oppose FGM. Well, everybody does. So um, why is the march wrong? Do. Sorry? Let why is the march wrong? Um, because I know who those people are. I was on that march. I'm one of the speakers at the next march. But they're not. It wasn't a racist march, so why is it bad? Sorry. It wasn't a racist march, so why is it bad? You know, it's all a cover. You're a cover. Employed to come to this march to. Okay, so how is that an issue? I'm just curious why why is this march bad? I mean, who we're against FGM and we're against terrorism. How is that bad? Social media to work out who those people talk to, and it's the far right across Europe, the states, here. I saw Kevin Carroll, EDL, he's been talking to them. You know, it's the same old, it's the same suspects. Okay, so even if we were to agree on that, even if we did, then the march as a whole, I guess you can't say that about all the people who've attended, okay. then are you calling, Some saying they're racist out. too? Some of them are just crazy. So they're bad because they came out to oppose FGM? Well, they were, they were kind of entitled to, and the police allowed it, and... That's, we have a democracy, freedom of speech, they should be allowed. Bristol doesn't oppose FGM and terrorism. It does. So why is the march wrong? Because they have a different agenda. They're, What's they're their agenda? That. Well, they're a far-right agenda. What does the far-right mean? Uh, doesn't the far-right mean fascism and opposition to free speech? They are protesting well, in favour of... Dividing. Do you know who organised the march? Yeah. Who? who? A woman called Annie. Do you know the organisations involved? Vaguely. What are they called? Uh, don't put me on the spot. Cause <laughs> I think if you're going to oppose a march, you need to know the organisers. It was organised by a gay group. <laughs> gay people actually joined the march. None, probably. I'm not straight. Maybe one. Well, okay. Well, you're not. To, you didn't join the march, did you? Yeah. Okay. I've had girlfriends. Okay. So <clears throat> you don't know who organised the march, but you oppose it. I do. Do. But you just told me that you don't. And I'm getting tired now. But if you are going to oppose something, you need to know. Yeah, because people can't hear you. And I asked a few people, did you know the far right were coming tomorrow? And did you know over half of Muslims think, think that being gay should be illegal? No, are they? So do you think that's right? As a result as well, that, no, that most people didn't know about it. And as I was kind of wandering around, people were saying, what the hell's going on? Okay, but did you know that over half of UK Muslims believe that being gay should be illegal? I'm not getting into anti-Muslim stuff. Because well, they are against that. I don't want to be thrown off a building for having a girlfriend. Oh, you, don't live, you live in Britain, dear. I know, thank you. I'm geographically <laughs> educated. So you don't think we should speak about FGM? Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, let every, lots of people speak about FGM. You well, know, they don't, because there's been zero condition, d conviction since the law came in. Well, I mean, there's... Well, I don't know. CPS I, don't want to prosecute. My pet subject. It's obviously your pet subject. It's not mine. You know, I'm I think <clears throat> we have... Um, a, I'm concerned. There's, we have a slight issue now with Islam being above the law. A solicitor told me the other day that he, uh, he had a client in court for quite a serious crime, and he turned up late 
because it was Eid and there was nothing the court could do about it, where normally anyone else would have been held in contempt of court. Do you not think that's a problem? I don't, I don't, I don't even... I, do I care? <laughs> Does I care? I think it's something to uh, be bothered about. So you don't care about FGM, Islamic extremism and British law? No, I can't get excited, overexcited about it. Okay, so there we have it.